I do not even know where to begin with this palette. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and happy June. I know I say this all the time, but I feel like this month more than ever, it's like, how the heck is it already June? But a new month is here, which means it's time to rotate out my makeup. If you are new to my channel or you haven't seen this kind of series before, basically I just rotate my makeup each month to get, you know, use of all of my products. It's really fun and you guys seem to really like it and I love these videos as well. But yes, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the makeup rotation for June, I'm very excited to pick out some new products, so let's do it. Things are looking a little bit messy over here, ignore that, but I really enjoyed the month of May's products. I had a lot of fun using them. Some of the highlights of the month were this Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. I got into a routine of using this and I came up with this little easy like two minute look and I just enjoyed this. It was so bronzy and beautiful. I really, really loved this MAC Goat play blush it is in the shade so natural so i kind of just put it all over my cheeks and it's like is it a blush is it a bronzer i'm not sure but it just looked so beautiful and it kind of worked for both for me also this undone beauty blush in the shade blazon it seems like it's really intense but it just looked so beautiful also fenty beauty gloss balm in cheeky this one is one of my favorites for the summertime and i loved this this month i loved so many of these one thing i didn't like is the bite beauty blush and this is the shade oh right i peeled the label off but i think it's like melon mojito or something like that uh the only issue i had with it was it kind of looked patchy on me it could be an application error on my part and also it's just so hard to squeeze it out of the tube not very practical so this wasn't my favorite but i do think it is a pretty color i think i'm gonna go ahead and put all of these back so we can make room for some new products for june you guys so while we are already down here i'm gonna go ahead and pick out makeup from this container so starting with base products i think i'm going to pick the glossier what is this called perfecting skin tint and i'm in the shade g12 just feel like i haven't used this in a little bit and i want to get some use out of it and then for concealer this one's just so light for me i think what is this the shade 15 i'm pretty sure like do you see that i just don't really want that bright of an under eye at the moment do love my ilia one maybe i should use this either that or this moist creamy concealer i do really like this i think i'm gonna go moist creamy concealer just because i can't remember the last time i used it so for blush when i think of june i don't necessarily think of bright pink so i don't know about this color pop one i haven't really gotten to use this one all that much um the heaven's glow from m cosmetics in venetian rose so maybe i'll pick this and then i haven't used a serum drops blush in a while and because i enjoyed that undone beauty blush in blazon i think i want to pick a red to use i just really enjoyed that look so much so i'm gonna have the serum blush in cherry splash okay for eyes i don't know what i want oh ColourPop did just send me this palette which is absolutely insane it's the your golden palette it's huge i don't have a palette this big i usually tend to stick to like smaller palettes look at those colors should i pick this i feel like it's just so intimidating because there's just so many looks that i could do but at the same time like a lot of these colors are pretty similar like these warmer colors i think i'm gonna pick this the your golden palette literally don't need any more eyeshadows after that so m cosmetics released new cushion highlighters and this one is the lightest one in the shade halo so i think i'm gonna try to get some use out of this so for bronzer so i haven't used my fenty beauty one in a while but i think of this as more of a contour than a bronzer i just want to look like glowy more than contoured i mean i could like bronze with this i really want to pick my kosas one i think i'm gonna do it so yeah i'm gonna use the kosas bronzer in the shade light i kind of want to pick another blush uh i guess for more of a neutral look i'm gonna pick the Glossier Cloud Paint in Dusk because I have not used this in the longest time, so. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna pick this M Cosmetics Cushion uh, SPF product as well because I really feel like using this. I enjoy this so much and I want to use it more, so I'm gonna pick this actually. And then I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pick out some lip products and I will put everything back in my little uh, organizer. So I forgot to pick mascaras and brow products with you guys. My apologies, but I have my M Cosmetics brow cream in Universal Taupe in my bathroom. Don't know why, but I've been putting on my brow gel in the bathroom every morning so i'm just gonna keep using that and then i picked the essence lash princess and the covergirl lash blast volume mascara so and then here are the lip products that i chose so this is the maybelline lifter gloss in the shade moon then we have the m cosmetics lip cushion in magic hour um the ColourPop luxe lipstick in spring roll and the roman glassing water tint in vintage ocean so yeah here's the lineup for the month of june now i'm gonna go ahead and put them back in the organizer Alright you guys, now it's time for the get ready with me portion of this video. So basically I'm just going to show you how I would use this month's products. So first let's start with the base of course. And by the way, I'm already wearing the Super Goop Glow Screen. That's why my skin looks so glowy. Um, it doesn't look like this naturally. <laughs> Okay, so here are all of June's products and I first want to start off with the M Cosmetics. Look, it's like an M Cosmetics line right here. I didn't even notice that. But I'm going to start with the um, Daydream Cushion in the shade Cloud Dream, which is fair. And this is just a tinted SPF and I'm just going to put it all over my face as a base. I'm just going to put it like wherever there's any redness or anything. So there you can see there's just a tiny bit more coverage and i'm also getting a tiny bit more coverage from the sun i guess so yeah awesome product i love this next i'm just going to use this moist creamy concealer honestly i might be almost out of this so it's good that i'm using it can use it up but i'm just going to do kind of like some here and some here just brightens everything on up I was thinking about doing another K-Beauty video, so let me know if you guys would be interested in that because I've loved basically all of the products I've tried from K-Beauty brands. The only thing is that the complexion products, the shade range, tends to not be so great. And even though it works for me, I know it's not going to work for a lot of my subscribers. I want you guys, like if you're interested, I want you guys to all be able to love and enjoy the products. So maybe I'll just do like trying K-Beauty lip products or something like that. I feel like that would be really fun or blushes and lip products kind of thing. I feel like that would be super fun. So maybe I'll hop on Yes Style and order some more like lip products and cheek products. So. If you are a K-Beauty lover, comment down below your favorite lip and cheek products from K-Beauty brands and maybe I'll do a video on that. I would love to do that again. So now I'm just gonna bronze up my cheeks with the Kosas bronzer. I mentioned this in my if only if I could only keep 10 products video I'll go ahead and put a card to that that was so much fun for me to film and I loved how you guys were saying your top 10 in the comments as well that just made it so much more fun I was so intrigued I love seeing your guys top 10 <laughs> all right so now we're a little more bronzed my eyebrows look crazy from that this is why I do my eyebrows last because when I apply things I'm kind of just like literally going everywhere like I don't get people who can do their eyebrows first I guess I'm just a messy makeup applicator. So I'm actually gonna use this M Cosmetics Serum Blush in Cherry Splash. And this is how I've been applying my blush recently. Just kind of just been doing it like in this area, kind of like that. And this just adds to like the, I was just in the sun look. Yeah, there's a lot of M Cosmetics this month. I did not mean to do that, but I love M Cosmetics, so it's okay. <laughs> So I was actually invited to the launch of this product, which was like my first ever Zoom, I guess, meeting with like a company. That was my first launch, but it was virtual, of course, because of COVID. So I was so scared because I'd never been 
to anything like that before but it was just awesome and michelle got to talk about this product and it was just super cool the way she actually uses it is with her fingers she doesn't use this applicator so i'm just gonna do how she does because i trust her <laughs> That's so pretty and so glowy. The only thing is like, I think this is a little bit big for a highlighter. I don't know, I just feel like for this little product, it just feels a little chunky, but I, I don't mind that much. So I guess we'll do the eyeshadow now. I do not even know where to begin with this palette, but I think I'm gonna start with the shade Cruise right here. It's just, you know, a light brown in the crease. Can't go wrong with that. I think I'm gonna take the shade Lounger, which is like a warmer, darker orangey brown and kind of focus that on the outer corner just to deepen it up a little bit. I'm gonna take the shade Lounger again, but put it under my lash line just to tie it together right there. I think I'm going to pick this shade on ice right here. It's kind of like a goldy, browny, bronze color, if that makes any sense at all. Oh yeah, it's a lot more gold than I thought. Okay, wow, that is so pretty. Um, but I think I need a little inner corner highlight, so I'm gonna take the shade Jet Set, which is the lightest shade in the palette. I don't know if you guys can see. Beautiful highlight color. Oh my god. This is exactly what I need. So now I'm just gonna put on the Essence Lash Princess Mascara on my top lashes and the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume on the bottom, and I'll be right back. So I actually just put on some of the M Cosmetics Brow Cream as well in the shade Universal Taupe. I don't know how I'm feeling about the orangey-yellow from the eyeshadow and the red blush. That might have been a bad combo on my part. Maybe I should have used like the um, Glossier Cloud Paint and Dusk for something more neutral, but whatever, we're already here. <laughs> so to finish off the look, I'm just going to take the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Moon. And I do need to clean out my eyelids, but there you have it. This is June's makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this makeup rotation and get ready with me. I hope you're also having a great start to the month of June and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone.